I'm waking up to my first day in Toronto. This entire trip is basically to get things done that I need to get done. Mainly, I need to get my UK visa while I'm here. Let me know if you guys want to know more detail on that, but today is actually the day that I go and I submit my application in person. Yesterday, I went to to my old phone provider. I hadn't canceled my Canadian contract. So I went and I got a SIM for that so that I could have the internet while I'm here. My UK contract for some reason works in every country except for Canada. Like they don't allow you to use data. And if you do, it's six pound per megabyte and there's no plans or anything. I'm pretty sure I turned my phone on and I got charged like 50 pound. It was ridiculous. This morning I woke up at around 4:30 a.m. I think and I woke up feeling like definitely water bloated from the plane um, It's not the same as like having a big bloated belly yet if you haven't experienced it before It's kind of just like your skin just looks like really soft It obviously will make you not look very lean It kind of makes you look like you've got a layer of fat But it is in fact water because I was feeling pretty lean before I left so in order to con counteract that I'm drinking a big bottle of water this morning and this is my second one for this morning um, it's now 7 30 a.m. yeah so it's like 12 30 in the UK what I'm gonna do now is go grab some breakfast and then I have to go get some dry shampoo I have just naturally like such oily hair I refuse to wash my hair every day because I don't want to damage this part of my hair so dry shampoo it is and then I will come back here and then get ready to go to my first appointment today which is to the bank to print off bank statements so that I can submit that with my application and then after that I go to my actual appointment at 1 which is at the UK embassy Let's see if I can show you guys what I mean about the wateriness I know I like have pretty decent abs already but I guess it's just kind of like here like I just lose maybe you can't really tell but I definitely feel decently watery that will go away though in like a couple of days as long as I keep drinking enough water So I decided to go for a full Canadian breakfast with an omelette with kind of everything in it. I think it's the vegetarian one. I asked for egg whites and then I got two deliciously Canadian fluffy blueberry pancakes with maple syrup. So I'm so excited for these. This is what I need. England does not provide this. And honestly, egg white omelettes come out really oily so I'm going to pat it down. By the way, I'm on hold with the flight company that I booked my flight through to try to get my seat upgraded to premium economy because Ben is going to meet me on the way home. Just finished up breakfast. Oh my god, my hair right now. And now I'm just headed to grab some dry shampoo for the situation. I got dry shampoo, some body wash, Q-tips and some bobby pins best under eye concealer so good it's the best for not leaving like creases under your eyes feels light but has really good coverage at the same time Okay guys, so now I'm on the way to my bank appointment and then my application submission appointment is at 1. So I'm just going to go, it's 10.30 now, so I'm just going to go do this and then go straight to my application. How does that look with the stamp on the bottom? That looks really good. I yeah? like that. Yeah, perfect. Is good? Yay, I got everything. Like, they had a little grill that looked just like Chipotle, so that's what I decided to get. 
So it's like my usual Chipotle order. I've got some lettuce and a little bit of brown rice, this grilled chicken, corn, pico, and then guac on the side, and just a bottle of water. So once I get upstairs, I actually have to enter like a UK embassy and you have to go through security just like at an airport because um, you're technically entering the UK or like a different country. Essentially, I'm gonna go submit my application form, which I just realized I didn't print off. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then I have to do like fingerprints and stuff like that. So I forget what the actual, what it's actually called, but I'll just put it on the screen. So that's what I have to do. I just went to the pharmacy, which is downstairs in this building, and the pharmacist was a star, and he printed off my application, so yay. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot to do that. I meant to print it off when I was at RBC, but I forgot. I'm gonna go in, see if they'll let me in early, because I'm about a half an hour early, and then I just have to sit and wait when I'm in there. Hi guys, I just got back into my Airbnb. I have officially submitted my application. I'm passportless. I have to stay here for five to 10 business days. Kind of stuck in Canada and I'll probably, I'm just gonna stay in Toronto the entire time just to make it easier. I'm a bit tired because of jet lag. I got myself a soy milk latte from Starbucks and I also got muscle banana. I got some whole grain oatmeal fruit. And just blend it to put in the oatmeal. When I'm tired, I either need caffeine or carbs. So usually a combination of the two does the trick. It's 10 after three now, so I still have to stay awake for quite a bit longer. I'm considering going to the gym. I might go to the gym and just do like a light workout after this, just to have something to do. My sister flies in today as well, so she decided that she would come visit me while I'm in Toronto. So she's gonna stay, she's Wednesday, and then she flies back on Sunday. So I have some company for that time and I'm really excited to see my sister. I don't, I haven't had like one-on-one -on -one time with her in a really long time because she's a mom of two boys and she's married and everything. So like she is just as busy as I am. So it's really nice that we get to spend this time together and that um, her husband and stuff would look after the kids. I'm gonna try not to nap and then I'm gonna go to the gym, I think. So I'll check in with you guys later. Hi guys, I'm not gonna lie. I literally just laid there for a couple of hours. Um, and now I'm forcing myself to go to the gym. So, because I didn't have protein in my last meal, I'm just gonna have a shake. So this is a Women's Best Peaches and Cream and it's my favorite protein. I like it in like oatmeal and just on its own. And I think I'm gonna do upper body because my legs are still a little bit sore from when I did legs. I think the day before that I left. Also, if I'm mumbling, I apologize. I'm just like really tired. <sighs> Drinking this on the way to the gym, which is like nine minutes away. Hello. So for this shoulder workout, like I have told you guys in the past, I like to start off with rear delts or with side delts rather than front delts because I find that those get proportionally more attention in traditional training program. People who are newer to lifting and who aren't like bodybuilders and stuff will tend to overwork their front delts to the point that most people have an imbalance. It might not affect their posture or anything but you can see it in their shoulders that they have like quite developed front delts and not so much side or rear delts. So I liked to start with the row that's kind of like a seated face pull and then I move right into lateral raises and rear delt raises. For these I was doing a set of 10 and then a drop set of 10 for both the lateral raises and the rear raises. And then I moved on to a cable crossover. So you can see here that I'm really prioritizing the rear delts in this workout because I find that I've kind of lost a bit of my rear delts. I haven't trained back in a while because I've been dealing with kind of just ongoing postural issues and my back just grows the fastest out of any muscle in my body. So it was like, it looked disproportionate. So I was trying to avoid training back. In that process, I lost some rear delts. So that's why I am really focusing on them in this workout and I think that you guys should too. Usually, like if you look at your delts, your rear delts are probably lagging. So cable crossovers are a great exercise for rear delts. I like to do them both arms at first and then I switch to doing 
the left arm and the right arm separately just because I feel like I can get a better mind to muscle connection with one side at a time. Yeah, and it's just a good way to get in volume by doing either the drop sets that I showed earlier or by doing these both arms and then each single arm. After that, I moved on to doing front raises. So here, this exercise is going to be using a little bit more of front delts and side delts just by the way that I have my body positioned and leaning forward and my elbows are quite bent. Um, and then after that, I decided to do a machine side raise for delts. I find this really focuses on targeting your side delts completely. So I just find I can get a really great mind to muscle connection, especially if I do the left arm and the right arm separately. And then finally, I couldn't not add some glutes into my workout. So I decided to do one of my favorite glute exercises, which is the cable squat thrust thingy. And I do describe this in a little bit more detail in my um, glute workout video, which is not too far back on my channel because I never upload. So I just finished up my workout and I'm still alive. It's 8.16. I haven't passed out asleep yet. I met some people at the gym, which is really cool. Some people who followed me and stuff. Everyone in Toronto is just so cool, like just really chill and like really easy to talk to. I just love the vibe of Toronto. Definitely think I want to do a meetup here and Ben is joining me at the end of the week. It would be really cool if we could both like do a little meetup together. So now I'm just heading back. I'm gonna get some Swiss chalet for my final meal. Two things before I show you my food. First, there is a gym in this condo. Kind of wish I saw it before. I just bought a two week pass at that gym, but oh well. And then two, I was in the elevator and an older lady walked in and she was like, those pants are fancy about my Gymshark pants. So it was like, thanks. It was really cute. So Gymshark leggings even appeal to the older crowd. Um, anyways, so I'll show you guys what I got to eat. I just ran to Swiss Chalet, which is like really close to where I'm staying. Oh my god. Ugh. It's ridiculous how much money you spend on food when you buy your food out. I totally don't recommend it. I was just really lazy and I wanted to wait to get to go to the supermarket when my sister got here so that I wouldn't have to carry all of the bags by myself. All right, so this is what I got. I got a white meat chicken on a Kaiser. I don't wanna touch it because I haven't washed my hands. Chicken on a Kaiser. Um, so chili sauce, corn, and then I also got a side of mashed potato. And that will be my little meal, post-workout meal, and before bed meal, because after this, I am gonna crash. If you're in Canada and you're ever in need of protein, definitely hit up Swiss Chalet. This burger, I think, has 50 grams of protein in it. Like, it was a solid two chicken restaurant. So Chalet is Ben's favorite restaurant in Canada because chicken. Oh, and I got some Diet Pepsi, which I wouldn't normally get because, like, I usually never have diet soda, but I was just really craving it. So bad for your teeth and it makes me really bloated. I only have it sometimes or I'll have a sip of Ben's or whatever. Didn't eat all of the corn or mashed potato. I probably had like a quarter of the mashed potato and half of the corn. Oh, and I also only had one and a half pancakes this morning. So everything else that you saw today, I did eat. If I drink this bottle of water, then I'll have had at least four liters of water today. Oh, and I only had half the banana. So yeah accurate representation of what I ate today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because there isn't gonna be anything else to see tonight. I'm gonna get ready and go to bed and probably wake up at four or 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Obviously, I haven't done a vlog in a long time, so I hope you guys like this style of content. I just realized that in order to get regular content out i need to stop being a perfectionist and i need to actually just release it into the world as is um, and also it really helps keep me accountable so if i'm filming like earlier today i probably would have skipped my workout if i wasn't filming but i really wanted to include just some workout footage for you guys so hopefully i help motivate you and you guys are definitely helping to motivate me anyways that's it for today i'll see you guys in the next video Bye. Just kidding. 
forgot to remind you guys to please like this video if you enjoyed it and you want to see more like it and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos don't mind my red face i was just washed it and then was picking at it